it's Julesy and it's been a minute. I have finally gotten over this ear infection. I was feeling like 07 Foxy Brown, like I could not hear out of my right ear. Um, by the time you guys see this video, I don't have it scheduled to go up until closer to the end of May. I'll probably be two weeks out from being over this ear infection. But it's been a minute since I've done a get ready with and show you my everyday get ready with me routine because I do actually people are asking me to do a what my everyday makeup routine is it has changed slightly I have incorporated more pricier products into my routine and for the rest of you who give two shits about makeup y'all just can't hear me talk shit anyway I have plenty to talk about because I haven't been able to talk for the past week because ear infections lead to your jaw locking I am shooting with my vlogging camera which is a Sony I believe the A5000 the um screen is on top of the camera here so sorry if i keep looking up i'm gonna try and focus into the camera into the lens but you know i am so damn sexy you can't blame me for enjoying looking at myself <laughs> girl because i just worked out i'm on this p90x3 kick and whoo, i'm only on day two because the ear infection turns out you can't work with them you also can't fly with an ear infection so I'm only on day two, but I'm feeling like if I could just watch the fat melt off of me after working out, I would be a lot more prone to working out. It wouldn't be such a torturous experience. Anywho, first up, this is something new. It is the Laura Mercier. Like, is this a BB cream? It's a light coverage. It's not quite as thick as the foundation. As you can see, I don't really need a foundation, um, especially during the summertime when I finally have been blessed by the sun. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hear my cry. That's why it's playing in the background. He heard my cry for melanin, and he blessed me with a little bit. Not enough, but just a little bit. And so the tanner I get, the less coverage I went ended up going to Sephora and picking this back up it's not cheap it is like $40 a container but it lasts a long time yeah, I didn't know but the girl that does that did the video on wearing red lipstick under your eyes that went viral the Pika she's Birchbox I I get to take some I don't know what you call it because I I, I I motivated her to finally start that YouTube channel and then I told her I was like she's like well you have issues as a brown girl being on YouTube don't you I was like girl but I'm black <laughs> you're Indian you have straight hairs and a plethora of baby hairs you will be more than fine and lo and behold she got 8 million views and hadn't turned her AdSense on yet and I told her girl when you start doing them videos make sure your AdSense is on because they're gonna love you all right so I think maybe like two million in she finally turned her AdSense on. <laughs> I finally found a, a LA Pro, LA Girl Pro Concealer. I found it in LA in the makeup district. It's the Creamy Beige shade. The tip that I learned from the Pika, I followed her on Snapchat, is that your um, beauty blender is actually supposed to expand when you wet it. My, I'm slow. I did not know that the beauty blender was supposed to expand once you wet it. And so I was just spritzing it or not getting it wet enough. You know it's wet enough once it expands and you squeeze it out and then that's when it's ready to use. I didn't know this. But shout out to the Pika. She really put me on. So my eyebrows currently are not on fleek. But uh, we gonna get some on fleek. Now I'm gonna do the same thing I do in every other video. It is definitely time for threading. Okay, so eyebrows done. A little heavy on the under eye concealer because it's that time of the week to get them threaded. Not necessarily new products, but I'm just going back to things that I used before and then stopped using for whatever reason. Because I tend to oscillate throughout the seasons. Oh, this is the wrong color. This is bright forecast. Actually, this is fine. I thought I picked up light boost. So I have this highlighter pen and bright forecast, which is more of a pink. And then light boost, which is the color that I should be using. It's a little bit more yellow than it has a peach undertone. But this color looks really well on browner skin tones. I have enough of a tan now that I can get away with it. But um, I don't like the Ben Nye Banana Powder. I just use a lighter color. This is from... Oh, don't drop it, bitch. Medium. This is probably too light for me now. It feels so good to say. Um, but this is what I have. I keep using it. I actually should do more of this, actually. And then I'm going to set the rest of my face with medium deep mineralized skin finish from MAC. I've had this for like, it's going on two years now. 
and it's this is like one of those MAC products that is 120% worth it. I don't know that there's any other powder that is as good for the price as MAC. This at CVS in LA, and I love this little $5 brush I got. Girl, where I've been all my life. MAC Burnt, just take you any brown blush, put it in a crease. Hmm. You know, this vlog I uploaded today, I showed you guys me going through Tinder. I've since deleted Tinder because I realized that I emotionally just am not ready. I'm not ready for Tinder because I'm too grown for this shit. Like, I want a real relationship. That's not, you're not gonna find it on Tinder, and you can't have casual sex in Houston, girl. No, so yeah, I'm past the point of needing to do that anyway, so I'm not even mad at it. But I had to go delete my Tinder because I met a guy off of Tinder, and I actually liked him. And then I realized, like, what am I gonna do? Like, I met you off of Tinder. Like, this shit just ruined everything because I met you off of Tinder. So this is NYX Ignite Passion, um, the Illuminating Bronzer. I use it as my blush because I'm really into like a peachy brown. I think it looks well. Now my NARS, so instead of Albatross, I got Miss Liberty. I have Albatross, but my ass dropped Albatross and haven't busted out the whatever it is you mix it with to put it back together again. I also picked this up in LA and I really, really like this color. I just rub it on my eyes just to, you know, give an effortless look and then rub it atop. You know, again, this is one of the things that I don't have to do. I don't know that it actually changes anything. I just like doing it. I also like to put it on my Cupid's bow. Real big update to my makeup. I use Inglot's Gel Liner in 77. They sell it at certain Macy's. The Macy's here in Houston has always sold out of this. I got this at the Macy's at um, in LA off of Sunset. Girl, this cat eye gives me all my life. Mirror's over here, so I'm gonna try this. Now, this eyeliner is so thick and creamy that it is really easy to mess up. Can you even see that? So you really have to take small strokes. You know, nine times out of 10, when I'm wearing thick liner, it's not because I intended it for it to be thick, it's because I messed up and I just draw it on thicker because this eyeliner looks so bomb. It doesn't matter. Even if you mess up and end up covering your whole eye and eyeliner, it's still gonna look good. It just is. They say not to pull the eye taunt, but look, you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay. So, what I do is I wing it out a little bit at the top, pull it out, and then without pulling my eye too much, just a little bit, I draw the end line to the tip of that and then I just fill it in. This eyeliner is what be having me feeling myself. I also got the brush that goes with Inglot. This brush is like the best eyeliner brush I've ever gotten. It was $10, girl, but I love it. My EOS, really, when you got big lips, you cannot, it's like beyond them, before they even get ashy, you just wanna make sure they're moisturized to fill in the cracks. Now, I'm going to take NYX Lip Pencil in Pinky and fill my entire lip in. Take my MAC Magenta, and I'm gonna use it to line the lip. But I like filling my lips in with lip liner first because it helps the lipstick to stay on longer. I don't, know. I don't even know if that's true, but that's what I be telling myself. Anytime you see me wear a bright, bright pink, typically it is this, the Addis Ababa NYX Soft Matte Lip. I lashes on because I didn't feel like putting eyelashes on, but, um, but I'm gonna do a video with my natural hair out and I realized that, you know, it's all about image. And so often when I wear my wear, real, when I wear, shit, fuck my this. When I wear my real hair out, I don't put on as much makeup or whatever. Um, so I'm like, you know, I'm gonna go all out 
And of course I picked up the biggest gaudiest lashes. I didn't mean to pick up these big gaudy ones. These are 605 red cherries. Then I'm gonna top off my lip with rose hip number 14 from Milani. Just putting that in the center to really pump up my lip color. I don't know why I just don't ever wear this by itself, but I always layer it on top of another pink because it just, this on top of any other pink looks awesome. Doesn't matter where you're wearing a really pale pink, and you're doing like an ombre effect, or you just want a really bright pink. I absolutely love this Milani. Let's take the hair out and come right back. See you in a bit. Okay, so <laughs> I have not seen my hair like this in forever, ever. Like this length, <laughs> this is just like a, this is a very mature length for me. I don't know. I don't dislike it, I'm just not used to seeing myself like this. Like, I'm just having more hair on my head or just having, I don't know. It doesn't look bad at all, but it's just, my hair was still wet from working out in sweat, so all the Denman brushing to detangle my hair and get a sleeker look is out the window. It's mostly frizz and fuzz. I'm not mad at this at all. Um, this is just real, I have, my hair is never, my hair has been this length before. It's just been a very long time. I'm probably not gonna be wearing my hair out much this summer anyway, since I'm doing a lot more protective styles. Um, but I'm thinking this shaved would be real slick. Like if I shaved this, just this one side, like right here, that would be real smooth. I might go to the barber on Thursday. What do you guys think? What do you think of my hair like this? Are you feeling it? Do you like my lipstick? I love it. Thanks for watching as always. I hope you comment along. I hope you go cop your Smart Brown Girl shirt. Support the movement. We are gonna be expanding into some new area come this summer, so please stay tuned. Do say.